bringing this light and energy through assists so many people around you, you know, will bring through these grounding energies and they will ripple out to your family, your friends, people that you come in contact with and the collective. So it's so important, especially right now, Libra, Libra season is all about balance. I have a lot of Libra in my chart and it's funny because I'm a cancer son and, you know, we, we learned when we're young that we are our sun sign and really um, our moon sign is more about who we are, you know, and even our rising is what we put out to the world. You know, I have those Cancerian emotions, but I've always been about balance and, you know, just bringing people together. And that's my Libra nature. I just want people to feel safe and secure and comfortable. And yeah, it's, uh, it, it's really interesting when we really dig into our chart. I'm not an astrologer, but I've really tried to learn more about astrology and just the planetary alignments it's pretty it's pretty cool when you pull your chart and you start reading it and you're like wow this is totally me this is totally who I am and then in the next fold if you pull up a gene keys chart or a human design chart if any of you know who that what that is it's like wow even deeper and you can really learn like your subconscious beliefs why you have them why you know why you've been seated here on this earth plane what your sole purpose is and yeah, it's just, I just find it so cool. I get really excited about things. So I'm like, oh, it's so cool. And I love to share. And that's probably why I do what I do. I just love to share energy and I love to share excitement and joy. And yeah, it's beautiful. So I welcome you all. Um, grounding is so imperative, as I'm sure all of you know. If we can't ground our energy into the earth plane, we are really no good to ourselves or anybody else. And not saying that living in a higher etheric realm is wrong or bad or anything because there's nothing bad or wrong, everything just is. But if we're not grounded in ourselves, if we're not grounding our soul into our body so we can be a divine conduit and channel for the energy around us, we are really just like a firecracker and we're shooting all over the place and we're not flowing properly through our body because what we are as divine beings is we are here to pull energy from source and we are here to pull it through our system and put, purge it out, but purge it back into mother earth, into the ground and become like this beautiful cycle of energy. Because what we pull in, because a lot of the time subconsciously too, we'll pull in through our chakras from other people, which if you think you're pulling in people's junk and garbage and not that there's anything wrong with that, it's what we know, pulling in energy off people and that'll get stuck in our system. So if we have a good secure ground, we can actually transmute that lower vibrational energy that gets stuck in our system and we can send it back to light and love because as we ground in, we're cleansing, it's cleansing. I don't know how many of you like to go walk outside barefoot. You know, I've always been drawn to walking around barefoot. Exactly. And it's awesome because I find if I'm having a little bit of a day that's maybe rattled me from, you know, maybe an interaction or something, I go outside and I stand barefoot on the grass and I'm like, this is awesome. You just feel that essence. You feel that connection. You feel connected within yourself. And that is truly what grounding is, connecting with ourselves and not living outside our body. When we're living out of trauma or, you know, triggers in our primal brain, we are not in our body. We're living subconsciously in our animal mind and we're living through emotion. And that's what we want to try to get away from, not to become the emotion and live through it, but to process it. And grounding is the key to that. It's pulling ourselves out of that emotional trigger, still feeling it, not, not bearing it down, not running from it, feeling it and processing it. And the earth and grounding is so important in that process because you have to be able to pull yourself in, feel into your heart center, feel into your other chakra centers and be like, where am I feeling this? Why am I feeling this? And how do I release this? And through grounding, we can really open to release. And in, in the interim, we can open to receive when we open to release and then we become that channel. And it's so awesome. That's all I have to say about it. It's awesome. It changed my life, like learning how to ground. There's so many ways we can ground. We can ground through, you know, like I said, just walking barefoot. We can ground through art. If you're a drawer or a writer or music, like I find music is very grounding for me. I'll pick up my guitar and play and sing because it brings you into this moment right now when you're painting or you're drawing or you're, 
if you're a sculptor, if you're creating in some way, even if you love to cook or garden, you're in that moment right there. And the only moment that matters is that moment that you're in there. You're not worrying about the future. You're not concerned about the past. You're there in that moment, grounding your energy in. And that spot you can surrender to. It, it all comes together and it's, it's neat as you learn and you walk this journey and you start to begin to see things from a different perspective. And you can really just understand that grounding, surrender, and trust are the three pillars, the three main pillars for our life. When we can trust that divine timing has our back, when we can trust that if we stand secure in ourselves, grounded, and with our boundaries up, not as a not as a wall to keep people out, but loving boundaries for ourselves to allow what's right to come to us, but saying, no, this is not right for me and not worrying about what other people think. That is just, that is the beauty of life. You will find that essence just, it feels so good. And in grounding, you know, a lot of activities that we ground ourselves in are joyous and joy is that other pillar. Gratitude, you know, you can find the gratitude in the moment. You can find you can bring yourself back down to earth and understand that you are so full of purpose. You are so beautiful and you have so much to give. I'm just going to admit somebody else. Yeah. So there's my, there is my take on grounding. I know everybody has their own take. When I do these, when I do these groups, I like to channel my take on it because this is what I've learned through my journey. And if my words can strike somebody in a way that maybe what you've read previously didn't, you know, um, that's beauty. And grounding can also be attending a group, you know, grounding can be just something that lights you up, bringing you back into that alignment, into that center and into the beauty that is life. So that being said, so important when we ground and when we're in a group, to set our energetic sovereignty. As you learn your energy and you begin to feel it, you understand what's yours and what's not, and this is that boundary. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna align and center and cleanse our energy before we start anything, any meditative practice, because when we're working with other people's energies, we can suck things up from them and we can transmute things to them. And we want to just be comfortable in our own energy. And that's right, you know, grounding can be sitting and knitting too. That's your creative process. I love that. There are so many ways to ground. So I want everybody just to take a moment and feel their sit bones on the ground or on the chair that you're in, or if you're laying down, just feel your body where it is and just close your eyes and find your breath. And sometimes it just takes a second to center in your breath. And we're gonna take five conscious breaths. And when I say conscious, it's when you're actually breathing in a pattern that's maybe not normal to your body. It's not a subconscious breath that's just to keep your life going. It's a breath where you're aware and you're pulling it into a space in your body intentionally. And breath is so cleaning, clearing, grounding. There's another way you can ground if you feel out of your body find your breath. So we're going to take our, our attention to the earth star chakra. The earth star chakra is not a chakra that's in our physical body system. It is a chakra that sits about 12 to 18 inches below your feet when you're standing or below your sit bones when you're sitting. And this is like your karmic chakra. This is where you are truly connected to the earth. The chakra is so important to work through because if you find you have a lot of karmic patterns coming up in your life over and over, you feel really insecure about really unsafe in your life. It's generally to do with this chakra because you're not having a good um, current go through you and connecting you to the ground. So we're going to breathe into the chakra. So we're going to breathe a little extra deep. We're going to count in to five and breathe down to that chakra. We're going to hold it for a couple of seconds and we're going to breathe out through our mouth a little bit longer. So I want you to count to like eight when you breathe out. So we're ready and we'll take our first breath in. One, two, three, four, five and pause for two as you hold that energy in the earth star chakra and breathe out slowly through your mouth emptying the lungs completely and then breathe in 
hold it and then breathe out through your mouth slowly, fully and emptying your lungs and removing anything from that earth star chakra that's not serving you with the breath. And then three, breathe in. Breathe out. And then four, breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. And on this last breath in, I want you to really pull in beautiful cleansing breath to that chakra. So breathe in, hold and breathe out. Now, once you're completed that last breath, allow your breathing to return to a normal place for your system. Take a couple breaths and we're gonna take our awareness to our crown chakra. And this is important because when we're channeling energy, when we are clearing our system, we want to pull in from divine essence. We don't want to pull in from others around us. We don't want to pull in from the earth unless that's what we're intending to do. We want to pull in from above because it's pure source, pure love, pure light. This is what will cleanse and clean and assist you constantly. So as we breathe in, envision your crown chakra, which is just above the top of your head opening and your breath coming in from there. And with the breath, you're seeing this beautiful luminescent light. It may be pearlescent or gold or just bright white coming through your crown chakra. And we're going to breathe this into our body and all the way down to the earth star chakra. And just continue to breathe in this beautiful light. Feel it warm your body, every cell, like you're sitting in the sun. Just that warmth, that beauty, that love, that healing and breathe out any density, any pain you may be feeling, whether mental pain or physical pain, any anguish, any discomfort within you. Continue to breathe it in, it's filling every cell of your being and breathe out. Breathe in and as we take this out breath, we see it really clearing our whole system. On the next in breath, our body is now full of this divine light, all the chakra systems, and it's going to begin to permeate out through our pores, this beautiful light. Watch it, feel it, sense it, start to envelop you in this hug, this beautiful hug. Feel it around you, this light clearing out your auric field now, not just your physical body, but now your energy field around you. Now your auric field is if you envision your arms sticking out beside you and make a sphere and if your arm was up over your head, envision that egg, that circle around your body. We're gonna fill up that whole space with this light and feel it just cleansing away. Any fears, any discordant thought patterns, any you know past karmic cycles that have been sticking in your field that you can't shake. We're gonna remove that now. It's like a cleanse for your body. And if you feel the need, you can use your hands and just dust as you go, as you're breathing in, just removing this. Now we're gonna call back all our energy. Just set the intention to call it back and release anything that's not ours. And as you see this beautiful bubble of light around you, you're going to envision a golden egg being placed on top of your auric field, fully surrounding you. You may feel warm or tingles as this egg sets around your field. And on top of that, you're going to place a platinum egg. And this is divine protection. This is divine. Not that there's anything to protect ourselves from, but this is how we keep our energy to ourselves and keep other people's energy outside of us because it's important to not have our energy meld too much. That will create codependent relationships, toxic thought patterns with people. You know, when you find yourself not being able to release things, do this exercise. It will cleanse your system and release anything that's not yours and call all your energy and soul fragments back. Now feel into this as you're breathing in this beautiful bubble. Take note, do you feel different now than when you started this breath exercise five, seven minutes ago? Do you feel more calm and relaxed? Do you feel more centered in your being? It's beautiful what we can do with our mind, source energy, and our breath. Feel it. 
take a couple breaths. And as you do this, I'm going to talk a little bit more about your earth star chakra, because many of us aren't aware that the chakra is so important. All of our chakras are important, but this is so important for grounding along with our root. So the earth star chakra is the grounding point for your entire chakra and etheric system in your body. And so that is so important to have because without a proper connection to the chakra, we're not fully grounded. It connects you to not only the earth, but the whole of humanity as well. So this is like the collective consciousness. This is the collective energy that you feel around you. You can balance this with your soul chakra, which is above your head. And these two are like the higher consciousness chakras. You get into them, you feel people, you know, you feel the earth plane. Some believe this is attached to our past lives too. And I do believe that. I, I believe we keep past life karma in this chakra. So if we don't clear and allow this past life trauma to leave, we will continue to attract in experiences in this life. And why do we need to connect with our earth star chakra? So we spend so much time using technology and inside, like most humans. And if you're anxiety prone or lean on the airy side of the four elements, so if you feel like you're floating around or you're very air based, the earth star chakra is your new best friend. Developing a strong connection to the chakra can give you an unshakable feeling of being grounded. And here are a few benefits that I've listed that I want to share with you about connecting with the chakra. A greater awareness of nature and a stronger connection to Mother Earth. You know, we feel when the earth is shifting, we feel, especially with the human resonance raising, we'll feel it, but a lot of the time we're unaware of what we're feeling. And when we can really connect to our earth star chakra, we can feel and just see, sense, and know. Um, intuitively, you will know better how to help the earth and through that, help yourself. You will know, maybe you just need to plant a flower in your backyard. Maybe it's just giving something back to the earth. Like I um, went to the river the other day. I had lavender I dried last year and I didn't know why I dried it. And I just felt this urge to go and give it back to the river and thank, thank mother nature for this beautiful gift and releasing because she's given me so much healing. Um, a strong feeling of being grounded and safe. So if you struggle with feeling safe and feeling grounded, continue to connect with the chakra. Continue to connect with the chakra. A healthier root chakra. So through connecting with your earth star, your root will feel healthier. You will be more just secure in yourself and your safety. You won't feel the need to need other people, need other people's energy. You could easily dispel negative energy you may pick up throughout the day, which is so important because we all know through every interaction we have through the day, we, we can pick up energy and we can give out energy. So the earth star is especially great for anybody who's in the healing, healing space of life. You know, whether you're consciously healing people like I do, or you just heal through other modalities, it's so important. Because the chakra is connected to the energy of the earth, you can easily pull energy from the chakra on days that you need an energetic boost. So if you're feeling low or you're feeling down, call on the chakra, go outside if you can, if it's not snowing or, you know, if you can go stand barefoot and just connect with the earth and connect with that part of your being, that part of your chakra, do it. it. It'll assist you so much. Being aware of it will assist you. And I like to think of this chakra as like a, um, I like to think of it as like this beautiful silvery, like a cobalty, like this, is, it's not black, but it's like this shiny, deep gray color, just this rich gray color. Like the color of the earth is what I picture, like the color of the molten core of the earth, just this beautiful magnetic, like maybe a hematite color, just a really neat color. And it's so powerful. Think of it as like your magnetic monopole in the earth. It's anchoring you down and just feel into it. It's, it's beautiful. So like I said, the earth star chakra really connects us to the earth. And we use that with our root chakra and we can get really grounded through our practices, through our breath. Um, through what it is that we need the most in our lives. It will guide you because it will in turn activate your other chakras through your system. As you're connected to it, it'll be like a ripple effect coming up through your body because once you're grounded, you think of a, think of an electrical outlet. If it's not grounded, what happens? You don't get any electricity out of it. You don't get any energy out of it because it's not a full circuit. 
So think of your body like that. When you're properly grounded, you become this circuit, you become a channel, you become a conduit for source energy. You can truly flow it through and reconnect yourself to all that is. You will feel more love and supported. You know, living on the planet, you will, I found when I really connected to my air star, I stopped worrying about all the stuff going around me collectively and really just pulled within. And I was able to make the best decisions for my life, not what everybody else is doing, not needing to fight anything that's going on around me, just being neutral and understanding that your body knows what it needs. And another really great thing about connecting to your earth star chakra is it is one of the centers, one of the main centers for abundance. If you find your abundance, not just financially, in other ways, in love, relationships, just life, even joy, when you're not properly connected to your earth star chakra, you'll have these little bits of abundance that come through, maybe like excitement in, like if you have a business, you might have a little bit of stuff come through. It's like, oh, this is awesome, but then it disappears. When you truly connect, you become that conduit and you're flowing energy in and you're flowing more energy out to assist the to assist the collective. So that being said, we're going to go in. I ask you to come back to your center and feel now that you know a little bit more about that chakra, maybe that you didn't know before, I ask you just to feel it beneath you. And we're going to send it some extra love today while we meditate on it and we feel it. And we're going to call in earth spirits today. We're going to call in the highest of the high to work with us. You may see fairy spirits, you may see gnome spirits, you may see butterflies when you close your eyes or whatever your earth spirits are that work with you because mother earth is supporting you and she loves you. So feel yourself in your being and call in those supportive ancestors and earth spirits to be with you today. Feel them around you. Connect back with your breath and take your awareness to your earth star chakra below your being, outside of your physical body. And we're going to envision it as a little ball. It may not be very bright right now, maybe a little dusty, there may be some cobwebs around it. And we're going to breathe in pure source energy to this chakra, down through your being and around your being coming down to support this supportive part of your system. And as we breathe in, we see it begin to enlarge and it starts to shine and it may start to move a little bit. You may see it like making a breathing motion as it starts to vibrate with you bringing your awareness and the light into it. And then it starts to spin clockwise releasing any cobwebs, any dust, any dirt. You see this beautiful source light and energy, almost sandblasting the chakra, but in a, in a calm and loving way, removing and the chakra really begins to shine under the pressure of life, under the pressure of the earth. It's almost like a piece of coal turning into a diamond. Breathe into this and feel this. And spirit just wants you to know that you are always supported. And those times that you feel the most afraid or uneasy, reconnect with the earth, reconnect with your body, reconnect with the chakra. If you're holding on to fears from the past or you have irrational fears that you feel are controlling your life, allow them to release today. Set the intention for them to start to release from your system so you can call in more light to your system. I feel many, many ancestors around us right now. Ancestors that support the earth and have for thousands upon 10,000s, hundred thousands of years. The ones who are the keeper, keepers of the earth that are no longer here with us in body, but they're with you in spirit all the time. I hear drums. Take yourself for a walk. What do you see in front of you? 
take note of what it is. Is it a field full of flowers? Is it a forest full of trees? Now take your awareness down to your feet. Are you barefoot? What do you feel beneath your feet on the ground? Is it warm? Is it soft? Maybe it's rocks. What is it? Now that you've taken note of what it is in front of you that you see, I want you to take a walk into that space. And as you walk into it, on the other side of it, there is a creek. You can hear it. Walk over to it and find a safe space to sit down. Feel the energy of the cosmos around you and the energy of the earth beneath you supporting you through this. Because this feeling can always be with you no matter where you are. And as you sit at the bank of this creek, you can hear the water babbling, that beautiful sound of water trickling down, cleansing you. Now put your feet in the water and allow the water to cleanse away anything that's keeping you from your connection to the earth and to your body, anything that's keeping you from the connection to yourself. The water will gently wash it away. Now take this moment just to breathe it in. Feel the sunshine on your head. Feel the support from both above and below. And understand that you always have this with you as well. So this message today may be different for everybody. This is the this is ancestors coming through. So however it translates to you, whatever pops into your mind or into your being when you hear it is your message. What do you see in front of you right now? What type of energy do you feel around you right now? What in your life is no longer working for you, they're asking. Whether it's in relationships or just day-to-day -day life, what is no longer working for you? As you hold on to that, you take that energy away from being able to ground yourself. I feel a lot of fairy spirits around me right now. It's like they're circling this group and they want you to bring in more fun to your life because they're all about fun. They're all about like spirit and fun and they cause trouble sometimes, but it's usually in a fun way. And they want you to do something that makes you really happy today after we're done this. Do indulge. Have you been forgetting about yourself lately? Getting swept up in life, the busyness of life, the busyness of other people's thoughts, tending to other people's thoughts. 
Let it go. And tune back into your own heart. Tune back into your own root and your connection. It's not your job to tune other people in to their connection. But you can set the example through yours. And your energy, like I said, is so far reaching. Take a few really deep and cleansing breaths as we really connect with the earth. Are your feet still in the water or where are they now? I want you to take note of what, where your feet are in your mind's eye. And as you look up, there is an animal across the bank of this creek from you. What is it? Take note of what it is. Because this is your guide right now. This is a spirit guide that's coming to give you a message. Yeah, animal spirits are very powerful and they always come to us when we need them. When you ask for a message, they will appear around you. So when we're done this today, Google the meaning of the animal that you saw and the message will be what you need right now. I feel a lot of anxiety in my head right now and in my throat center. So if you're keeping yourself from speaking your truth lovingly to keep the peace, try to find a different way to bring your voice forward because your voice is very important. And if you've been feeling like you've been getting headaches recently or congestion in here, are you maybe ignoring the messages that are coming through for you because you want to see something that's not actually as it appears? So continue to tune in. And through connecting to your earth star, it'll really help your, your crown and your third eye as well because all these chakras work off each other. We're gonna ask for only the highest, best guidance to come to us always and through us and with us and be with us all the time. And I'm gonna ground in these energies with some sound. So just sit back.
now, if you're still in that space, safe within yourself, I ask you to begin to bring your awareness back to your being. Come back from that beautiful scene that you were in in your mind's eye, that connection with Mother Earth and start to bring yourself back to right now. And just know the things that you see in your mind, the things that you hear, those intuitive pings that you get are what you need to follow. So many of us have been conditioned to not believe our intuition and what we feel and we're, we gaslight ourselves a lot of the time. And so then we'll stop trusting our higher self and our guidance and then it will become quieter and quieter. When, and our ego will take over and guide us. And that's what we want to flip back out of. We want to flip into leading a soul-led life, a heart-led life. A, and being grounded really assists with that. And sorry if you hear sniffing in the microphone. My cat's sniffing the microphone right now. So bring yourself back. Come back to now. And I welcome anybody to share what they saw if they want to, what they felt, how they're feeling now. We have open time for some discussion and you're muted. So if you're wanting to talk or type into the chat box, unmute yourself, but feel free to type. And I'll pull some cards in a minute too. I'm gonna light some Palo Santo and clear the space. I know I sure feel a lot more relaxed. I love channeling with groups because it's, it's amazing and it's healing for everybody. I'm gonna pull some cards. We'll see what spirit has for guidance for us from these energies. We're in this 1010 portal, which is beautiful energy. And when I, when I booked this, when I put this out, I didn't realize it was 1010 till after. And I'm like, this is so awesome. Working with the, working with the angels and the numbers. Oh, I love this. My animal was a swan. Oh, that's so beautiful. I don't even know what a swan means. So that'll be really interesting to know and see what it means. Oh, that's awesome too. I love, yeah, it's synchronistic about the flowers on a bison. Oh, that bison, I know bison would be very connected to the earth spirits because it's very, it was a very native animal, like indigenous to our, to this, like to where I am in, in Alberta, like bison is very indigenous to here. Oh, I love that. I love it so much. Oh. Oh, so this is the card that flipped out while I was reading. So it's listen to your intuitive feelings. Your body is receiving accurate messages from the divine. And that's exactly what I was just saying. So this is extra important for us going into these energies is the veil thins. This time of year, the veil is so thin. So the things that you're feeling, believe them. If they're fearful thoughts, and I always talk about this with intuition versus our higher self, it's, if it's fearful or scary or angry, it's not your intuition. If it's just this deep knowing and calmness around it, whether it's a positive or negative situation, if there's calmness around it, that's your higher self, that's your soul, that's your intuition. You will know, you will know. I know I had one come through to me today where I was like, really, I'm supposed to do this? And it was like, yes, do this. And I was like, okay. Oh, what do you, what card did you pull? Beautiful, the master artesian. Beautiful. For me, it was walking in the snow and sitting in the bank of a stream while a stag appeared. Oh, that's beautiful. I love the walking in the snow. I wonder what that, because that would be like extra cleansing too, like being in the cold, walking in the snow, like shocking the system into something. And I love that. I'm going to pull, I'm going to see if anything else comes out. And then I'm going to pull from the Starseed Oracle as well. 
So the next card that came out is integrity and it says align your actions so they may match your values and inner knowingness of what's right for you. Align this with your intuition and you will never go wrong in life. Even if it feels like you're going wrong, generally you're, it's never wrong. Everything just is and it's where you need to be. So remember that if you're maybe kicking yourself for making a decision that may in the moment seem not, not it's right not right forgive yourself and move forward with that because it was something that you needed to go through and needed to come about in your life you're learning from it and that higher consciousness is about learning exactly the path might be scary but it's your path and you'll get to a point where the path isn't scary anymore you just understand from a different perspective why things are going on around you and so from the Starseed Oracle, oh, the Seas of Minicata. So seeing potential, bringing the unconscious to light. So this has a lot to do with, um, for what I'm hearing is continue doing the deep shadow work because and bringing your unconscious belief to beliefs to light, but also seeing the potential in every situation. So we need to do that. This is exactly what we were talking about right there. Seeing the potential instead of seeing it as a roadblock or a hurdle. Doors closed so others can open. And then wait, it's not time yet. Things are being woven. So the time in between our breath, listen to that intuitive voice and it will guide you and the earth will guide you like that Creek that we were sitting beside. I don't know why that came into my mind today, but it's about going with the flow. Sometimes we need to sit and wait. Non-action can be the best action sometimes. A lot of the time, non-action is the best action. Pulling into that feminine side of our being, non-action, opening to receive. We do so much releasing and giving to others. We need to stop and be able to receive. You know, whether we're male or female, it's important for us all to balance that yin and that yang aspect of our lives. And just, it's beautiful. I love it. These cards gave me chills because it's also a message I needed today too. It's like, you know, we're, we're trained in our society to constantly be pushing and going and really grounding and being still is so powerful. Feel that, feel it, feel the ground beneath you, feel the support around you. You are so supported by so many beings all the time. So if nobody has any other questions today, Nobody has anything. Go feel these energies. Um, thank you for joining today. The 555 portal shift in consciousness. I'm sure you've seen the class I've put out there starts next weekend. So if anybody's interested in joining that eight week class, it's going to be awesome. Um, let me know, drop me a line. And I wish you a fabulous day. Thank you for joining me today. It's been a few weeks since I've done a group and I've missed it so much because I just love connecting with each and every one of you and feeling your energy, feeling your hearts. And there's so much love in this group. So thank you for being a part of it and sharing space with me. Go on today and share a little love out there for yourself and with everybody else. I love you so much. Bye.